One of the Maraja in Najaf, Ayatollah Bashir Najafi, he used to say that when he read the verse, the 71st verse of Surah Az Zumar, he would read it and understand the meaning. Here's the verse. On the day of judgment, the angels will push the non-believers towards hell. Well, obviously, since hell is not a place of fun where one goes on their own, they will have to be pushed. Now, Ayatollah Najaf, he would understand this meaning. However, a couple verses later, verse 73, it states, the angels will also have to push the believers towards heaven. He would say that he didn't understand this part. I mean, heaven is not a place that you would be unwilling to go on your own. The believer would naturally want to go on their own. He would say that he didn't understand this. He didn't understand this until he reached this hadith that I just mentioned, that on the day of judgment, a group of people will surround Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and when heaven is prepared for them, they're not eager to go, and the angels will have to drag them. Then this verse became clear to him. Some on the day of judgment have reached a higher level of heaven. They've attained Imam Hussein alayhi salam, Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. And when they want to take these believers to the heaven that's filled with fruits, they need to be pushed to go. Marhum Sayyid Karim Kafash, known as Sayyid Mahmoudi Tehrani, was one of the pious individuals of Tehran who passed away about 63 or 64 years ago. He was one of the close friends of Agha Sheikh Murtaza Zahid, and many great personalities of Tehran knew Sayyid Karim Kafash and knew him to be one of the close friends of Imam al Mahdi, Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajah Sharif. However, only the special individuals knew him closely. In one of his encounters with Imam Zaman salam, he showed Sayyid Karim his place in heaven. As soon as he saw the place, Sayyid Karim asked the Imam, Will you also be there? The Imam replied, No, because the station of Imam Zaman in heaven is much higher. Then Sayyid Karim continued, Then I don't want to be there either. You are my heaven. Is it possible for me to go somewhere where you're not there? Am I supposed to be happy there? Now, do you see how individuals' capacity and limits vary between one another? It is also based on what their aspirations are. Your goals are what determine what your limit is and what your capacity is. If you have great goals and ambitions, it shows that you're a great person. If one has small goals, then that person is also small. And this is not something that you can fake. It is genuine and not on the tongue. You can't all of a sudden just say, Oh God, from now on I want all the great things. Your heart must truly want it. Allahumma <laughs>